In this video you will learn what are styled components and why it is a really good solution to write CSS inside React. So what is styled components at all? This is essentially a library to write CSS but inside JavaScript. And we are not just doing it inside JavaScript, we are writing our CSS like React components. And as you can see here is an official website and this is the example. So here we are creating a component button, which is essentially styled A, which means we are creating here a tag, and inside we are providing these styles. And now here you might say, okay, but doesn't make any sense to write CSS inside JavaScript. And by default not, just plain CSS will be faster and better as always, but if we are writing CSS inside JavaScript, we have several benefits. First of all, we will load only CSS that is needed for our components on the page. Secondly, we can easily cut out all CSS which is not used inside our components. Also, it is much easier to do vendor prefixing inside CSS. And the most important point is that we can mix JavaScript and CSS. For example, if you have some state inside JavaScript, you can just change CSS through classes like we normally do in our CSS. But here we can do better, we can simply change our CSS based on JavaScript state. But enough talking, let's check how it works on the real example. Here I already installed styled components library. This is just npm install styled components as always. Now here on the top I can inject this library. So here I am writing import styled from styled components. And what we want to do now, now we can create here a new component. You can throw it in additional file or simply write here inline. So what I want to create here is a title component. And I'm calling here styled.h1, which means I'm creating h1 component. Now here we have these string symbols, like in ECMAScript 6 when we want to do escaping, and inside we can write just our CSS. Font size 16 pixels, then text align, center, and color green. Now our component is fully ready and we can simply change our h1 here, what I rendered, to our title that we just created and here we must close it. So what is title? This is just a React component. Let's check this out. I am reloading the page and here we are getting hello monster lessons, which is in green. And let's check this out inside DOM. So here we have just normal React and here is our component with h1 tag inside. And here we have our isolated styles. So styled CSS isolates all our styles and they are not global anymore, which is extremely important. Secondly, we can reuse not just styles, but we are reusing the component. And this is extremely efficient because we can bind all our CSS plus component and maybe some logic together and just reuse it as a React component. Now let's say that we need to add some wrapper. So what we can do here, we can create one more component and just call it wrapper, which is styled div. And inside we just need to provide some padding. For example, padding 10 pixels. Now we can wrap inside our app, our title with wrapper and just close it afterwards. Now, as you can see in browser, we have one additional div and it is also styled with padding. So now across the whole application, we can reuse our title and our wrapper. The next thing that we typically need to do, we want to pass some props inside our component. For example, we have a button and we want to configure it, for example, with color or a background. Let's do this now. So we want to create a button component. This is why we're using here styled.button. And inside we want to provide some styles. But now we don't want to make them static, we want to make them dynamic. This is why we're writing here color equals, and here we're using dollar and then brackets. And inside what we're getting here is props, and this is essentially a function. We can write here props dot danger. So if we are getting inside our props danger property, then we want to render white color. In other case, we will render this color. And now we can do exactly the same with the background. So I will just change color to background and we are getting here props. We also check for props danger and here we will render the same color like on the top. And in other case, we are rendering here white. And now we must write here some static styles, for example, font size 14 pixels, then some padding 
4 pixels, then border 2 pixels solid of this color and border radius of 3 pixels. Now let's try to use this button underneath our title. So here let's write just button and inside some text, for example, this is a normal button. Let's reload the page. As you can see, here is our button. But I already see here a typo. At the end of our color, we don't need to put comma, we need to put semicolon. And the same in the background, it is important. Let's reload the page. As you can see now, our button has this white color and this border, which is red. And this is happening because here we're getting color and background and actually border radius was not applied because here I did a typo. Let's reload the page. As you can see now we have rounded border and this default color. But what is more important now we can write one more button which will be our danger button and we must provide here a prop danger just like we provide inside React. In this case here, this prop is simply a prop of our React component and it is going here inside these props and here we are checking props danger and then we are changing the color. As you can see in browser now this danger button is completely red and our color is white. Another feature that you will for sure use is called extend. And what we can do here, we can extend our button. For example, we are totally satisfied with all these styles, but maybe we just need to change our button slightly for some specific case. And we can create here, for example, comment button that we are using for our comments. And here we are writing styled and we are providing inside not.div or something, we are providing inside the button which actually means please take this custom element styled button that we created. And now here we can directly style it just like normal style component. So here we can write for example color white and background blue. And maybe we don't need our border. This is why here border to pixels solid transparent. Let's check if our comment button is working. So here we can render our comment button and I'm simply closing it with text add comment. Let's check if it's working. I will reload the page and here is our blue button. And as you can see, we got all properties of our normal button. But after this, we overrode color, background and border. This is exactly this class. So now we have a fully reusable comment button, which is extended from our button. Another important technique, which might be a little bit more advanced, is creating custom components. For example, let's say that we just write a link component inside React. So we want here to create a link and this is just a normal component. It is not styled. So here we're getting some props, for example, a route, then the name of the route. And here we're getting class name. And we will talk about this class name in a second. So what we want inside, we want to use a ref here and we're providing the route from the outside. After this, we will use here a class name and we're just throwing inside this class name. And I will close this say and just write inside the name that we provided. So this is the normal link. We can simply write here that we have our link and here we have our route which will be slash and our name will be some link. Let's close this link and check if it's working. And as you can see here, we have zero code of style components. I will reload the page and we have some link. This is just the link and we don't have any styles. But here we define this class name. And this is exactly a possibility to style our custom components, like for example, this link. For example, what we can do here, we can create styled link. And here we're using our styled and here inside I'm throwing a link. And actually link is just a normal component, but here we have a property class name. This is exactly a property which will be used from styled components to throw inside class with these styles. This is why inside our styled link, we can write, for example, color, white, then background, purple, and we're good to go. Let's write down after our link, styled link. And actually we are providing the same stuff inside, like in our link, because this route and name are staying the same. Let's reload the page. As you can see, we have just the same some link, but now it is styled with this class and these classes are applied through this class name that we provided here. So we simply create a custom component and then we throw it inside the styled to write some CSS for it. And the last thing that you for sure need is adding hover. What we can write here just directly inside our styled link is ampersand, then colon and hover. 
And now here we are providing styles like normal, for example, color red. And this will create a hover effect inside style components. So I'm reloading the page and here we have hover with red color. But now you for sure want to say, okay, this is all cool, but I really want to see the simple example how we can use style components in some real world example. This is why here I prepared a registration form for you. And as you can see here, this is super easy to understand. We have a div, then a div for our form field, and inside we have a label and an input. And we have here name, email, password, and then a button. And as you can see, it is completely unstyled, and now our goal is to style all these elements. So first of all, let's start from our first div, and I want to name this form. And actually, this is really nice, because in this case, we understand better what components we are writing here. So first of all, I want to create a form, and I'm using for this styled.div. So first of all, here will be width 100%. After this, let's make a white background and 30 pixels padding from all sides. Also, let's say that our max width is 450 pixels. Also, let's create here a border radius of 10 pixels and paste here a nice box shadow. Let's check how it looks like. As you can see now, we have our white form, so our wrapper is there, and we have a border radius and some shadow. Now we need to create a niche field. This is why here I will write a field and just close it here after our input. And we want to do the same with two other divs. So here will be filled, and the last one is also filled. Now let's create our component field, and what we want to do here, we want just to put a margin for our div. This is why here, margin bottom will be 30 pixels. Let's save this and reload the page. As you can see now, we have a margin between every single group. Now let's create a component for the label. This is why here I am changing label to our label with name and the same I will do for our email and for our password. Now let's create our label component and it will be just a div because we want to put it on the different line. And inside, first of all, we need some margin. Margin bottom 10 pixels will be fine after this font size, for example, 15 pixels, then bigger font weight, 600, and then another color, for example, 777. Let's save this and check how it looks like. As you can see now, our form is looking better and we have this nice grayish label and it is correctly styled. After this, we need to create a reusable input. So I will just write an input from the big letter to create a component. And as you can see, all our props like type are staying completely the same. Now let's style our input. So here we have styled.input and inside we must write some styles. First of all, it will be width 100%, then we will have our padding, 25 pixels and 15 pixels, then we don't need any border, so it is zero, and then we want another background, for example, F0, 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 and border radius will be five pixels, font size will be 18 pixels, color 555, and font weight will be 600. Let's check how it looks like. As you can see here, we have a really nice form with big inputs where we can type something and it is really visible. And the last thing that we need to change is our button. So here I want to create a button component and let's write styles for our button. So we know that this is styled.button and we need a really nice big button. So here, first of all, let's change the background. Then our color must be white. Then we want a bigger font weight. 600. We need here a full width. Also, let's use here border radius 5 pixels, cursor pointer, the same padding of 25 pixels and 15 pixels, also border 0, and font size 18 pixels. And also, I want to add here a hover effect. So, here let's write ampersand hover, and inside we will change the background to this one. Let's check how it looks like together. As you can see here, we have a nice register button, which is blue, and on hover it's a little bit darker. As you can see here, we created a lot of reusable components. And now here we can create any form inside our application, because we created a form component, a field component, label and input, and they are completely reusable. 
And here is the last thing that I want to tell you, and it is super important. You must always create styled components outside of your render component. So we should not copy this button and paste it here inside our register, because in this case it will be recreated every single time after every render. And it doesn't make any sense to do that. This is why please create your styled components outside of your normal component. And actually, if you are interested to know how to write CSS for Twitter page from start to the end, make sure to check this video also.